Hi, welcome to another video of Nerdy Tech Tips channel. Today we're going to add a network printer. So to do that, we need to go to Control Panel and under Hardware, click View Printer and Devices. Now we're going to click on Add a Printer on the top left corner. It should be able to find your printer automatically if it's on the same router or it's connected to the same network. But if it's not able to find it, just click on this printer isn't listed and then add a printer using TCP and IP address. And once you're on that screen, just type the IP address of your printer here. Then we're going to click next. Now it should automatically direct to the printer drivers. If it's not, you will have a screen where you can actually manually select your drivers and install the printer. As you can see, it has det detected our printer. Now over here, we can change the name if we want to. Leave the share this printer option ticked. And if you want to change the name, you can change the name here. So that would be the name that will be appearing for other people on the network if they want to use this printer. Now everything is done. As we can see, our printer is installed properly. And we can see the IP address. It is accessible via this IP address if you want to access this to this printer from this IP address. Now the next thing we want to do is list this printer into our Active Directory. So the Active Directory users have access to this printer. If they want to add this printer to their computer, they can easily add the computer. So to do that, right click on that and go to the properties of this printer. And then further on, you want to click on sharing and tick on list this in the directory. Now all the steps on our server side are done. We have successfully added this printer to our Windows Server 2016. Now we need to go to our client PC. So we're going to go ahead and sign into our client PC using our domain user. So once we are in, we're going to click on start button and then go to settings. Once we're in the settings, just click on devices and then click on printers and scanners. Once you click on it, you click on add printer and it should automatically search for the printer that you have added on your Windows Server. And as you can see, our HP Office Jet Pro is already here. Now it's connecting to the printer and installing the drivers on your client PC. And that's all you have to do. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our Nerdy Tech Tips channel for more videos.